Now, Charlie, thank you for coming back to see us. Charlie right. Day is yeah. your name, but I wonder if you should be known <laughs> yeah. as your nickname, because you have a nickname that I've found out about. Your nickname is Charlie Trombone. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Thank you, eighth grade. <laughs> What is that nickname about? Why Charlie Trombone? It's, it, it's a little bit about having the name Charlie and the instrument you're carrying on the bus to school every day. Right. Uh, you know, I also had a sweatshirt that I was wearing with my name on it, and yeah. I, th I thought it was cool. It's, it's kind of a cool nickname, but not really. It's, it's sort of like a gangster in a Scorsese movie. Yeah. I like it. Hey, go see Charlie Trombone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you, think, did you think the trombone was a cool instrument? Oh, uh... It was big. Till I got to high school, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And did then, you not stick with the trombone? No, no, then, you know, I... I well, the, the trombone is not an aphrodisiac at all. <laughs> uh, I disagree. Yeah, right? <laughs> I think well, it's the way you play I, it. I started out playing the accordion. There you go. Right. You want to talk now about... that's an aphrodisiac. Not really a sexy <laughs> instrument. Right. Okay. Wow, and that's you not too. fair, because you're going east, west, and north, south. I mean, that's skill. How do you do that? Well, I stopped playing it because Lederhosen were really getting tough to find. <laughs> <laughs> but the trombone, there could be something sexual about the trombone. It's at least got a sexual motion. Yeah, I mean... Bom. Then it'd probably be sexy if a girl played it. Well, that's a whole different thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's not sexy where, when you're wearing a hat with a feather in it. <laughs> and, you know, you're doing this with a bunch of guys. So, you know, like... I don't know, just seeing you do it there without a hat and a yeah. feather. Okay. I have never been okay. more aroused right. in my entire right. life. Let me go get my trauma. <laughs> you don't think this is sexy? <laughs> I don't know which way to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> were you musical when you were at school? Uh, well, I play the cello. Yes. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Nice. And I think I can sing. Can you sing? I have a strong voice. I just, it's not, it's not on pitch, but it's a strong voice. <laughs> really? You yeah. can't, you don't, hang on. So you think you've got a good voice and a bad ear. Is that what we're talking about? I suppose. That's what... Or the people listening have a bad ear. Ah. I think I sound good. Yeah? Uh -huh. You remember Lisa Lisa? Mm. Don't know her. And the cult jam? Ow! I wonder if I take you home? Sure. Yeah. No, you're gone. How does it go? Well, her pitch was like mine. Right. <laughs> well, let's see how bad your pitch is. We got some musical people here. Let's try and do okay. a little... We'll do a little yeah. harmony. Okay. I'll go, then you, G, then you, Charlie, and then okay. you just... Pop in over the top with a harmony, okay? So okay. I'll go. Right. Uh -huh. Ooh. 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 Oh, no, no. <laughs> I think one of the big problems <laughs> with, with having a pitch problem <laughs> is being able to sing with other people. There it is. Thank you. That's right. Damn. But by one. yourself, yes. absolutely fine. Yeah. All right. Let's try one more time. All right. Okay. Ooh. 